Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon's Dogma and today we are going to be trying to catch a thief. Uh, this mission can be slightly problematic because there are two vendors to speak with and one of them, Geraldo, sometimes no, does not show up for work. But hopefully... He will be at work today. This is not his shop. But he's not here. It appears this grocer is responsible for much of the village's provisions. He's not here. And this has happened a lot. Uh, there are times when Geraldo just decides he's not going to. Would you stop breaking shit? Wallace! Bad Myrmidon, what did I just tell you? I literally just a minute ago told you not to break shit. Ugh. Bad, bad pawn. Bad. Alright, well, at least we can talk to this chica right here. Estella. Hi, there's a thief about. And I've the missing wares to prove it. I even chanced to see the rat scurrying off after he'd lightened my stores. Quick as a flash he was. I'd have been impressed had I not been so angry. I only wish I had more to offer. Never mind. You're always for right welcome now. here. I guess I can go ahead and sheath my stuff. Uh, yeah, so this this particular mission, I might end up just wandering around a bit because uh, without Geraldo being here, we've got a problem. <gasps> Finally, here he is. I'd not believe such villainy could be found in Casadis had I not been a victim myself. The scoundrel even uncovered my hidden stores. I told no one of them. Tis clear the felon is no common cut purse, but a thief of considerable skill. We must put a stop to him. Okay, now we can do this mission. Are your travel preparations complete? Ready, are you? Then I'll explain. He's fierce and fleet of foot, dashing about the village as he goes about his business. When the thief arrives, you'll give chase, good fisher, and we'll have those pawns of yours keep watch outside the village. With luck, you'll catch him with ease, and before he can pinch any more of our wares. Well, questions, cousin? Done with your preparations, good fisher? There's time yet. Or are you ready to rest until night? Then we wait. Our plan begins with night's fall. I shall go stand watch elsewhere. You head that way, good fisher. Tis time. I have faith in you, cousin. And why not? As a risen petty thieves are a simple quarry, I. There's my run button fucking up. I knew this was going to happen. I need to be running and I can't run. There we go. I am like kicking it into high gear. <sighs> nope. Got a time. It's just a oh, god damn it. All right, this time for sure. 
Okay, unhand me. There we go. I really hate that mission. <laughs> How's the day find you? It was fine work last night, good fisher. What's more, the rat you caught has a loose tongue. He spoke of the company he keeps. A band of thieves that style themselves the Iron Hammer. They've taken a stronghold in the south of their home. Seems they eat well on the goods they pinch from the merchants walking the nearby roads. If you cause to head south, pray keep watch for their ilk. Okay. Now, why not avail yourself of the inn to rest a while, Risen? My kind knows neither death nor age. Oh no, it crashed. So after this that crash, uh, I'm gonna try this again. Uh, it did crash, though. So that's unfortunate. But uh, before I finish off this episode, I'm gonna go ahead and put some vocation points down for Wallace, but not for myself because I want to go ahead and save my vocation points. Perhaps Kina left some clue at her home. You standing around here. Wow, I am really upset about this uh, this controller though. It's it's I should be running because I'm holding down the the left stick and I have to keep rapidly pressing it and it really hurts my thumb to try and convince it to go. I have another controller that I bought specifically for my Xbox 360 that I may have to bring upstairs for this. And I want to point out, by the way, that I told uh, Wallace in on the knowledge chair to not talk so much. He still isn't shutting up. It's safest on the roads. Perhaps we'll find ore among the crags that litter this place. If you could stand to commission some new roads, we'll need Kina's help for this. Let's ask at the village. Well sturdy, this place. That's That's all Wallace. That's the guy who said I will I will be more quiet in the future. I mean, he's just keeping a running dialogue in the most annoying way possible. Back to Cassidus, Arisen. It is a fair notion. Within this tent sits a rift stone. Have all you need? We are an inn first and foremost, but we offer more than simple lodging. We can safeguard your belongings, or aid in learning new skills. Have your pick, any you like. We're gonna manage stored what items first, today? depositing most of the stuff I don't need. So, um... For instance, this I don't need for right now. Don't need those. Do need that. Don't need that. See, I do want to stay as light as possible so that I can continue looting and pillaging. You know, that sort of thing. What will it be today? Now, um... Have your pick. Any you like. Learn or set skills. What will it be today? Learn skills. Wallace. Uh, teach him biting wind. Okay. Uh, for right now, let's give him. Cloudburst Volley.
Yeah, there we go. And then that should be good for now. Yes. Okay. What will it be today? Have your pick. Any you like. Come again soon. Alrighty then. So that's going to be it for uh, today's episode, or this episode. I've actually recorded several today. But uh, the next time around, we'll be going to meet up with Mercedes and uh, take on the, uh, the, the, the various bandits and goblins and harpies who are uh, a waiting in ambush on the road to Grand Soren. In any case, I hope you like this. Um, if you do, be sure to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, ring the bell, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you next time.